Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. And when I say the mental house, it's exactly what I really, really mean. I don't know if it's crazier out there or if it's crazier in. You t tell me, because I really want to know. But what I want to talk about right now is how a lot of these right wingers are showing up in black churches on Sunday morning. Knowing that the Republican Party now has become the party of racists. I mean, even the grassroots Republicans are leaving the party for that reason. Now, now, and the fact of the matter is, black people are so, in my opinion, so desperate and money hungry that just like at any other time, if somebody give them a few dollars, they'll lead you right to the slaughter. Okay, people say, well, the Democrats haven't done anything for us and they're not supposed to because power concedes nothing without a demand. And if I've had a group of people that religiously cast a vote for a Democrat and have not made it clear that we're not voting for you unless this happens, what do you expect? That's why everybody disrespect us, in my opinion. You want to get mad because the LGBT community have gotten rights. You want to be mad that the Asian community had a bill signed for them. And we should be upset about these things. However, when you, you got two things to do when you're upset about something. Either... You can just sit there and complain about it. Or you can listen to the words of your great ancestor who said, power concedes nothing without a demand. That means it concedes nothing without a demand. I want y'all to hear me. And just marching is not going to do it. That's just almost like a waste of time by itself. We're not in a position that we want to boycott, as you can see. Y'all talk about the older generation, but they are the only ones in the last 50, 60 years who have gotten any meaningful legislation passed. And that was the Civil Rights Bill. That was the, the, the bill that allowed you to vote. And so now you think it's a joke. And now you think it's worth nothing. Now you don't think you should. And I said, oh my God, my people are so confused. Then they get mad because it's an all-white jury and no black people were allowed to sit on the jury, but they don't go vote. So now who's ever in trouble, they can't count on you for nothing because you are not even in the running. You can't even show up. And if that's how the American system go and that's what you plugged into, that's what you got to do. Otherwise, get out of America. You understand? This is how it works. And it's not going to change to your dictate. You have to understand the laws, rules, and regulation, and understand that every generation has a fight. Every generation has a fight. And the fight is just not to take Percocet, lean, and uh, ecstasy. That's not our fight. Our fight is to remember that power concedes nothing without a demand, just like the LGBT community. And if we don't get that through our thick skulls, then who's to blame? You know, I'm thinking about the time when um, our 501c3 was in um, effect. And we went to Holy Redeemer because all the... Um, agencies were trying to get grants from the government. And if y'all don't know who, what Holy Redeemer is, it's a big church here. It's like almost like a mega church. Okay, with uh, Bishop Sedgwick Daniels. Yeah, I'm going to call you out today. What turned me off about then and now is that at back in the day, in order for us to get this money, they were trying to tell us we had to vote for George Bush. 
when in the world did church and state become enmeshed with each other? Only when they wanted to. So we have these black people in here now, pastors, churches, telling us, well, if you want some of this money, you know how you got to vote. Well, they didn't come out and say it just like that. They made it plain. They made it in a different way, more palatable. Well, you know where this money came from, don't you? Well, I just want to let you know, you know, it came from the Republican Party. If I got to tell anybody up under the sound of my voice that you don't vote against your own best interest. So you have black people who are part of agent provocateurs and because they receive a few dollars or a few crumbs from uh, the Republican Party, it's now their job to go out and they recruit you and to make you feel like that that's the party that's going to uh, help you. When common sense should tell you that if you don't have money, there was nothing Donald Trump could do for you. Yeah, he let Kwame kill Patrick out and I think Kodak Black or whatever. Few These people paid him hef hef hefty and heavily. And most of us don't have that kind of money. So the only thing we can do is work with this grassroots organization. And that is the only way we're going to get some stuff done is probably through the Republican Party, or through the a Democratic Party. The thing about it is we have to take our power back. In my opinion, we have to take our power back because power don't concede anything without a demand. Frederick Douglass told you. And the same is true today as it was back in the 1800s. Let me see what kind of important legislation y'all can get passed. Let's see. Okay. Let's see how many of y'all can waken up to the prison industrial complex and stop making yourself um, a part of the problem and concentrate more on being the solution. Okay? So I'm not going to stay on here long. In fact, I just want to say for all you black churches out there that are allowing these Republican right wing people come into your church like they do every election time. Y'all might not know it, but I'm so sick of it. I'm, when you live long enough, you start getting jaded by these, this, this type of stuff because you already know what the deal is. I already know that anybody that's trying to get me to vote against my best interest does not have my people or my best interest in mind. They just got their hands greased. That's just like these people like Brother Polite, um, Tyreek Nishi. All the other narcissists out there that are taking people's money and telling you they got a blueprint for America and a torchlight for America, when really they just have a torchlight for themselves and their families. Y'all better wake up. Keep these politicians out your church. Okay? And if they haven't done anything, oh, I cannot believe. Ron Johnson was sitting up in there in Holy Redeemer, and they accepted that. He's a liar. He tried to overturn the government. And these Negroes let him be the guest speaker at their church. He should have been ostracized. But that's neither here nor there. I'm going to let it alone. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.